Hi everyone, this is Brittany Bond, and today I'm going to talk about my human design readings. So a lot of you are asking, what is human design? What are these readings that you offer? Like, what is it? What is it for? How does it apply in my life? So human design, in my opinion, is it's like a soul blueprint of your body. So you put in, it's based on astrology, and you put in your information into this chart, and then it has this like actual outline of your chakra points within your body and it shows you how the energy moves through your body the way i like to describe it is like imagine our bodies were like the the circuit board that's inside of a computer and like it's like how the energy actually moves through your specific body so the reason why this is important is because when the energy is moving through specific chakra points for you it actually is showing you like literally what you're meant to do in the world, how you would connect to other people. So a lot of people ask me, can this help me with my romantic relationships and also like my mission in life? Like what am I meant to do here? What's my purpose? Yes, this is exactly what this is for. And it, it's more, the way I like to describe it is like we're all different pieces of one puzzle and human design describes your specific puzzle piece. So there is the first number. So like for instance, I'm a 5-1 generator. So the 5-1 is how your conscious personality is, your subconscious personality. The generator is how the energy comes into your body, whether you generate it yourself or you receive it from other people. But then there is actually the map and the graph of specific things of how energy and different things about you that is going to describe. It's very specific to you. And that's why giving a reading is so important because, oh my gosh, like the amount of information online that is bad about human design or just like not helpful, not practical, very general is abundant. So this is why I love giving readings because initially I started learning about human design in order to understand how to run my community better. Because if we're all different puzzle pieces, how can I empower the people within the dynamic of who they are within a human design modality? It shows you exactly how you would work on a team level, what's best for you, like how you show up and how you can communicate to someone, like all the things. Like it's like this this whole like toolkit of how you show up in the world and how you can understand other people so that you can work better with them. So for me, I learned about human design from this perspective. Like I would map out all of my favorite people, all the people I connected with like on a regular basis. And I would ask myself as almost like this social science experiment, is this actually true about what I know about human design? Does this person show up in the same way that the guy who channeled human design, Ra or who said that they would? So from my legal background, I like to do a lot of case studies. And so I did this for many years. I would just be like, okay, they're a three, five generator. Okay. Yep. They're doing the same thing that it was said they would do. And then like, and then I would map out all of the different people within that three, five generator. If I'm talking about this as an example, and I would find the similarities of how they show up within the community, how they express themselves, all this stuff. And I just find it so fascinating. So for you specifically, all you would need to do is book a reading with me. You don't need to know anything about human design. You don't, all, if you want to, you can come with questions and I will make it as specific to answering your questions as possible. If you don't have any questions, that's totally fine. Then I will just share with you the foundational things that you need to know in order to understand your superpowers in this timeline, like your soul. When it was like designing who you were going to be from a personality construct, it created this human design modality. It created who you were. And this is so beautiful to understand who you are. Like I love giving human design readings for parents about their kids because I wish that all of us were raised understanding how best that we show up within a tribe, within a community, within our lives. And when you learn this about yourself, it, it gives you like, I really believe that all of us understand who we are intuitively already but we have all of these societal constructs of like programming, our family stuff, religious stuff that puts it on top. And so we end up acting out of alignment of who our authentic truth is and who we are authentically. And this gives you permission to be yourself, this, this tool of human design. And some people ask like, well, I don't want to limit myself. I don't want to put myself in a box. I don't believe it's that at all. I believe it's like, here's your launching pad. Here's like the beginner like toolkit that your soul gave you of your superpowers, your, op your weaknesses or opportunities for growth is what I like to say. But when you're aware of these things, wow, you can just launch off and you can go super confidently into your life knowing 
that you are fully supported and divinely guided. And like, this is the path that your soul gave for you to go down. And when you have this confirmation, it gives you a lot of power. And also a lot of people who get readings from me, they say, wow, I feel so much more in my body. I feel like I'm allowing the energy to go through my body in a more fluid way. And I just feel better in my body because they're just accepting themselves and loving themselves for who they are. Another thing that I really love about human design is that there's something called an incarnation cross. Okay, I'm going to get super nerdy right now. There's something called an incarnation cross. And this is like your life theme according to human design. And there's over like 700 of them. And this is something I really like to share with people because your soul actually has a specific life theme where if you like accomplish this one thing, you've accomplished your mission as a soul in this timeline, in this lifetime. It's like, what? Don't you want to know what that is? Like in this video game, that is life. That is super exciting to understand what that is, to work in alignment with it. Like I know what mine is. Mine is literally the cross of alignment too, which is like the left angle cross of alignment too. All of these things mean something, but mine is literally to help bring people together, to create alignment energetically for them. And also to bring the collective. It says like to shift the collective from the old to the new but I have to do it in a very specific way so that I don't leave people behind or I get seen as like a, a deserter where I'm just moving too fast ahead of the collective, which is like, wow. When I figured this out, like, you know, it was like four years ago is when I started st studying human design really extensively. And once I understood that about like my life theme, I started showing up differently in the world. I was like, okay, I already knew my mission was to help the collective like shift to a higher vibration. How do I do it in a way where I bring everyone along? How do I do it in a way where I can help people to find their authentic truth, to be in alignment with themselves first, because then they're naturally going to come along. And for me, part of this is doing human design readings. So I really feel like it's part of my soul calling, part of my mission, and I'm really excited. I've already given hundreds of them over the years. And a lot of my stuff that I do is just because I get so excited about something and then people find out and they ask me if they could, you know, do it, do it for them. And then it just kind of evolves everything very word of mouth. So um, a lot of you in the community online have asked, uh, normally I did them in person here on Copenhagen, but a lot of you in the community ask, can you do these online? And so I am offering them online now. So there's a link below for to book on my calendar and you just send the money book the thing and we do it and it's super super fun it's super fun so if you have any questions you can also reach out to me on instagram at Brittany bond and yeah i'm here for all of it let's go <laughs> i'm really excited to give a reading for you <laughs>